I need to wait for the chopper. There's something I want to try with the net gun. And there is the chopper. And this is what I'm waiting for. Now I'm going to try something I never tried before in this game. And the hunt continues in Predator Hunting Grounds. Welcome back guys, this is Acid Glow. So, this is kind of rare that I play on a night map and on excavation, the one I hate the most because of the caves, but uh, we'll do it for now. So, uh, the net gun is, I think, my favorite weapon in this game because it actually does damage, unlike the version in AVP2 from 2001. So in this game, it functions a little bit more close to how it was in the movie Predator 2. So, uh, I want to try something with this weapon, but uh, it's something that I want to save for the very end of the match. Because normally I was trying the net gun throughout the match, you know, try to pin them to the wall or pin them to uh, the floors. But uh, the angle and distance you have to get for that effect is very specific. So I was looking at my options, like with the perks and also the um, specialization, which doesn't really matter for this attempt. But uh, for the perks, I could have used the one that gives me more of the um, inventory items. But uh, for now, I'll use the shot I have for the net gun. But uh, we'll try it out. We'll try to get to the very end and we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, there's one guy here. Yeah, I don't know why he's crawling. That was kind of weird. Uh, he's down. All right, we'll jump over here. We'll jump on top. And who's ever going to come and get him is going to get shot. And, oh, nice save. That was quick. This guy can see me pretty good. Yeah, this one. Let's aim for this dude. Uh, you know exactly where I jumped. Nice. Okay. We're going to down you because you're the annoying one. And I want to get rid of you. Yeah, there's someone shooting me from behind. That's okay. Yeah, this dude has to go. There we go, okay. Just get rid of one of them. That takes away one quarter of the problem. Alright, so my goal is to possibly have all of them, or the remaining fire team members, on the uh, stealth kill availability. Which means, I think when you down them three times, they're going to be set up for a stealth kill from the back. Um, that could be useful, but I think that might be too much to handle at the very end for this attempt I'm going to do. So let's try to aim for maybe just two players alive at the very end. If I leave them on um, after three downs, when they have the skull over their head, that means they're pretty much on their last life or last revive. So that means they're going to die instantly if they try to revive their teammates at the uh, reinforcements uh machine there so that's generally what I'm trying to do in most matches now just weaken them enough and leave them on the stealth kill so this way if someone does attempt to revive the teammates then that person will die instantly when the rest are revived giving you less problems so yeah we'll stay up here we'll pick them off just to weaken them and this dude is in the corner and let's see there he is down there and uh, oh you got picked up we're gonna down you once again you're down and someone is bound to pick you up I don't even think they know I'm up here yeah I don't even think they even know that I'm shooting from above I'm not down in the caves against a really good fire team like you're gonna get melted inside the caves with uh, little areas to jump around so let's see okay they're gonna crawl over there to the corner I gotta be very careful I don't want to completely destroy them I want to leave them on the weakened state just to make them more vulnerable for the very end there you go down and there's one alive okay I don't want to finish off the last guy because someone has to pick them up let's wait a bit just be patient there we go there's one how about the other one pick him up is he ready with the skull just wait. Okay, good. Perfect. Two of them. So that leaves one of them to either weaken or to finish off. All right. That's good. Everything is according to plan. Wow, it's a buffet of pigs over here. Dude, like what is it with this game when I'm looking for pigs, I can't find any, and then I go to one area, there's like six of them in one area. Yeah, 
But in other maps, I find like maybe one wandering around behind a tree or something, one in a bush, one in a cave, but in a lot of situations, like, yeah, like six spawn in one small area. It's like they're having a town meeting. All right, uh, so let's see here. We are back to full health, we are good. I'm coming back here to reclaim my arrows just in case I need any, and we'll take that trophy with me. Yeah, that was the annoying player from earlier. He was able to spot me pretty good, so I had to eliminate him. All right. You know, when the game first came out, uh, I wasn't too fond of it, and uh, I wasn't liking the bow based on gameplay that I saw, and I thought, oh, I'm not really going to try it, and I feel like everything is totally different. When you put more time into the game, you kind of learn a lot more than what you did a year ago. And I feel like the bow is like my main weapon to use from long range. That and the plasma caster. So three of them are here and one of them just ran off to the side. That's fine, we'll get you later. These guys are weakened. I need that skull so I can kind of see them much easier through the walls or at a distance because I just want to track them through another method. Because uh, something that I want to try for the very end of this match uh, is going to be a bit more easier if I don't have four people shooting me. So I want to try it out with just two. Uh, just to test it out and kind of see if it works. Yeah, but it's something I did not try yet with the net gun. And there's one dude way over here. Okay, that's... Uh, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. That is just the other one that's already weakened. But where is the third person? The third one is the one that is not weakened yet. I am like right in front of you. You don't even see me. They must be new players. I'm like right here. I'm so tempted to stealth kill him. But I can't. I need you alive for the very end. I mean at this point I'm not really in a rush to level up anymore. There's no point. I mean, it's going to take me, what, maybe a year to get level 999, but I don't play that much. So, all right. Uh, where is the the pigs again? Ah, oh, here, the arrow. There we go. Wow, there's another one. Okay. I still have a couple of pigs here left to uh, regain my health. All right. And we'll take back the arrow on the way out. All right. And uh, let's have a look here. They're still in the caves for a very long time. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, where is the third person? I need the third person. I gotta track him down. Why is he still coming back here? Are you guys not done yet? Like, what is taking so long? How many times do you gotta go to that terminal there? That computer there? Whatever it is. All you gotta do is follow the arrows. Or the waypoints on your HUD. Oh, there you are. You're up on, I think, on top of the side of the mountain above the cave. What are you doing there? All right, let's track that person down because he's just kind of sitting there. Uh, let's see, you're somewhere up here and... Oh, there you are. What are you doing in the bushes? Are you not playing? Either way, we got a skull and the trophy. Get out of my way. I feel kind of bad for the first person I took out, like uh, back in the campsite. I think his total playtime was like, what, 60 seconds? And then he's kind of just sitting out watching his teammates just run around and maybe he's guiding them on what to do or... Well, if he is, it's kind of bad instructions because they're still in the cave for like, what, four minutes or something? It's been a long time and they're still in the cave. What are they doing? I feel tempted like just to jump in and just maul them, but that's not the plan. I don't want to. How many times do you guys gotta come to this damn computer and like activate it? Like how many times? This is like the third time. Like what are you guys doing? What is going on here? Come on, get moving. Get moving dude. I know you're scared. There is a predator around hunting you. That's right, you're scared, just go. Go, 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 go. They gotta be new players. Just kind of like the way they're, they're moving around, they're not so aware of my presence at least visibly. I mean, through audio cues, they know someone is there. But I just walked in front of both of them. They didn't even see me, so... Okay. 
I think this might be the end. I think so. Because usually around the last five or six minutes of their mission, that should be enough time to go to the chopper. I'll just run in front of you and then just kind of jump. I think you saw me. Just to make you aware, I'm still around. I'm watching you. This is so fun, like doing the uh, jumping on the trees. I'll go in front of you just to uh, scare you. <laughs> Okay, so where's it going? Oh, we still have one more objective. Is this the optional one? I think it is. I've seen this when I was playing as the uh, humans a very long time ago. I think once or twice because I do not play as the humans. Uh, I think I've seen this as an optional one. Yeah, when I play as the humans, I feel like, oh, there's so many like waypoints on my screen. There's too much to keep track of. I don't think, you know, I'll deal with that. I mean, on top of that, you got to deal with the... Um, the bots running around shooting you and also watch out for the pigs and also for the predator and there's a lot to look at when you're a human character yeah but as for the predator it's more simplified look for heat signatures and uh, sound icons from their guns if they're not using silencers all right so this is a last stand both of them are pretty much uh, about to go down if I damage them enough. I mean, they both have the skull icon, so one down and they're out of the way. So the goal here is do not finish them off right now. I'm very tempted, like I want to, but I don't want to do that. I want to play around for fun and just do something else, but I need to wait for the chopper. There's something I want to try with the net gun. And there is the chopper, and this is what I'm waiting for. Now I'm going to try something I never tried before in this game. There is the chopper. I'm waiting for the ropes to come down. There's the ropes. There's the first person running up. I'm going to wait for you. That's it. Make your escape. It's only you. And we're going to net you. Oh, I'm sorry. You cannot reach the ropes. Are you netted? We're going to net you again. <laughs> Are you having trouble, sir? Can you not go up the ropes? Are you tied at the moment? <laughs> we're going to net you again. <laughs> and we're going to net you again so you cannot escape. And then we're going to net you one more time. And uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> 30 seconds of netting and he could not escape. That is my new way to use the net gun. It was fun. I'm sure he was like infuriated or very annoyed and saying, dude, I'm trying, I'm trying to grab the rope, but this damn dude is netting me over and over. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. I think from now on, if I have the net gun, I'm going to use it in that way. So that's it for now. That was fun. Waiting the entire match just to have a lot of fun for those 30 seconds was worth it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.